Hi, this is Emilio Franchi, Senior Product Manager for Anritsu, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can use your existing PCS 1900 megahertz PIM test set to test in the C-band, in our case, the B-block of the C-band. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have a uh, setup with my F1 at 1930 megahertz, my F2 is at 1965 megahertz, which gives me an IM3 on the test set for 1895 megahertz. I'm going to turn this guy on. And uh, in my setup here, I do have a PIM source. And you can see that there is a PIM, in this case, MEG91. And it's going up and down briefly through here. So I'm going to pause this and then move over to the spectrum analyzer. I have a PIM probe attached to the spectrum analyzer. And then I can show you the, what the spectrum looks like when we're hunting PIM. So, so I've switched over to my spectrum analyzer. I'm going to turn on my PIM test set again, and I'm going to put my PIM probe near the PIM source, and you can see that you can see the, the pulse in the center going up and down. I have my limit line set up there for the source, and I have a second source here. It's a little bit stronger, so you can see it passing that area. Now I'm going to pause again, and I'm going to switch over to uh, my IM2 for the C-band. So to measure the, in the C-band using your PIM test set, basically all you're going to be doing is adding your F1 and your F2 frequencies, in our case 1930 megahertz and 1965 megahertz, and that will give us 3895 megahertz. That's my IM2, and that's what I've tuned the spectrum analyzer to. I'm going to turn on the PIM test set again. Now I'm generating a source. And as you can see, I have a very strong PIM source here. So that's my IM2. IM2 will have a higher amplitude normally than an IM3. And that's why you're seeing it being a little higher. So the, the reason you may want to test for this also is the fact that your PCS signal in this case is going to be it's an FDD signal. So it's always on. So this will affect the receive time frame or time slot of your TDD signal in the C-band. So if you're worried that you're getting PIM from your FDD sources down below, those are the ones that are going to affect it the most is the FDD ones. I hope you found this useful and you successfully used that in the field. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.